We're living in a scientifically sophisticated universe where people have to make decisions based on technological information that they often don't understand. And I think the scientific community needs to make an effort to explain its science to the public. And that is not only because science is supported by the public, but science is essential in an informed democratic society for people to make intelligent decisions about their future. All kinds of medical rumors emerge. Turns out to be nonsense. People need to be informed about this. They need to know the signs underlying the decisions they make. But although my son disagrees with me, I think science is as exciting as baseball is. And Charlie appreciates that. And people, by and large, don't realize that. But I think once they get involved, and I get wonderful feedback from the program, um, they'll realize how enjoyable it is to read about science. Now, there's another man who's participated in this, Jonah Lehrer, who's a Columbia product, who worked in my lab for two years, terrific guy. He, Charlie, and I are joining forces and returning the brain series into a book. And the book is designed for the general public. And my illusion, you may think it's a delusion, is that it can contribute to what is badly needed, a revolution in science education. This should be available to high school, and I'm not saying this book, but exciting introductions to science should be available to high school students, to college students, so they realize this is part of you know, civilization, this is part of culture, this is the core of the core curriculum. I'm not suggesting it replace anything else, but it should have a central role in the core curriculum.